and make golf shop tips coming to you so stay tuned Welcome back to the McGolf Shop, and we've been getting a few questions on uh, the other videos, like, particularly on flowing, is how do you make the rig that allows you to do flowing? Now, flowing flatline oscillation, uh, you can do it in many different ways. You can People put a drill chuck on the end of a shaft and then put the laser pointer inside the actual chuck so it clamps down on everything and then you're flowing the shaft. Now, that's one way of doing it. Personally, uh, since the, pr the process is really kind of all eyeballed once you find out the exact, you know, hard spine or whatever, you, whatever it is that you want to call it, however you're going to align it, then it's all by eyeball and width of the pin. So what I like to do is I like to do it with the uh, club head on. So when you have the club head on, it's pretty hard to use the drill chuck method. So what do you do next? Well, you somehow you've got to hang the laser pointer underneath the shaft. So I'm putting it get together a set of Mizunos for a uh, gentleman in Texas. And so what I've done is, is you can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line back there. I've already flown the, flowed these clubs. And so how do we get that? Well, what I have made is a little clamping set up like that and then what I do is I get the laser pointer to sit in here like this and so when I'm in my clamp this sits back in here and then when I twang the club here then this will go up and down with it as well okay and so that's how I get mine so it, it sits underneath the laser will point underneath here like that. So the question is how does that made? Now there, is, there used to be some people out there that made these things but uh, being the uh, guy that likes to figure things out I made my own. So uh, here's what I did. I started out with just regular adhesive cable clips. They're very very small like the ones for like one piece of wire and then the uh, laser pointer that I was using was no longer made, so I had to figure out a new way of doing it. So I stumbled upon uh, cable clips again, but I found a laser pointer that I liked, and this is that guy. Uh, hopefully, we can, that's a little bit better. And it's just a little laser pointer. And I will put the, the link to where you can get this uh, down in the description, so you take a look at that. Now what this is, is nothing more than a laser pointer keychain that I got from Office Max. And what I did is I took the keychain part off and voila, I've got a laser pointer. And now you got to figure out how you're going to hold it. Well, then I got this. Well, how did I do that? Well, I used these. Little adhesive cable clips. Okay. Now I got these off of Amazon. Uh... You know, that's how they'll, they actually go in there like that, but I don't use that part of it because it's just big enough. So what I do is I take this little hammer piece off. I just cut it off with a, uh, a pair of scissors, really. And then, uh, then I trim this piece up so it wasn't nearly as wide with a, 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 a sharp knife or a very large pair of scissors. And I did it to another pair. So now I have two. Okay, now you'll see that uh, the openings here and the openings here. So when I have the smaller pieces, I made them in line so that they would stick together like that. So then you end up with this guy. Okay, and you see how they're opening? Now what happens is, is that it's got a little red button on the top, and I just slide this guy in, and it, and it, and it works. See that? I'm not going to be stupid and put it right in there, but it, that's how you get it in there. And then this guy clamps onto the top of the shaft, and voila, you have a flow. So, like I said, any other way you can get around it, that's it. But I'll put the links of both of those in there. And uh, if you guys are interested in flowing, that's the way to go. Now, that's only half of flowing. The other half is how do you hold on to the shaft in order to 
uh, do the flowing properly. Okay, there's plenty of clamping systems out there, and they all have their benefits and they all have their cons. However, you do it, you have two jaws. There's always two jaws. Whether you clamp like this or you clamp like that, doesn't matter. But when you clamp, you flow into the clamp, not away from it. Okay. So if you clamp down like this, you will twang or flow up and down. If you clamp sideways, then you'll twang back and forth. Okay, because if you go up and down, you create an inconsistency because it's, that's its weakest spot. So whether you have a clamp that goes down or your clamp goes in, that's how you twang. Now, a little secret on that is once you got that and you go the other way, it ought to flow the other way as well. But the, the, the more beefier way, the more uh, stable way would be into the jaws. Okay, and that's, what, and that's the other part of the flow. When you get it done and your head's on there just like this one was, then you draw a line together and then when you go to finish it, you just ma match up those lines. That way, because you know you get a lot of spine shafts, you get a lot of flowed shafts or whatever, and they have this line at the top of the shaft and you've got to kind of, you know, eyeball it. Well, that's probably a, bit, a little more precise. So if you like what you saw and you want to see some more, uh, like the video and subscribe. I'm really trying to get above a thousand. We're getting close and thank you guys for doing that. And, uh, if you, and there will be more and, uh, let's see your scores go low.